what should we do to see the Prophet, peace be upon him, in dream? What you see in a dream is simply a reflection of what you have been thinking about and of during your day time. I mean, as Al Imam Ahmad, may Allah have mercy on him, did with one of his students who said that, how, how come you have seen the Prophet ﷺ so many times? You know, there was a, uh, an ordinary woman here in Egypt who used to see the Prophet ﷺ in a dream every day. And if a day passes by and she doesn't see the Prophet, if a night passes by and she doesn't see the Prophet ﷺ, she would believe that something is wrong, something is missing. When somebody is thinking about something or somebody else, contemplating the idea of a person or a thing and preoccupied, his or her mind is preoccupied with it all the time, you see that in dreams as well. So Imam Ahmed wanted to make an, uh, an, a practical experiment to show the student of his how can one see the Prophet ﷺ, we invited him for dinner and uh, the dinner was very salty. He put a lot of salt and he didn't give him any water. Then when he went to sleep, in the morning, and Imam Ahmad asked his student, did you see any dream last night? He said, yes, I saw a lot of dreams. He said, tell me, what did you see? He said, I saw heavy rain, running rivers, stream, water was. He said, I knew that because you're thirsty. You're thinking of water. You would love to drink. And because you've been thinking about it, you've seen it in your dream. So may I suggest that every day you read in the seerah of the Prophet ﷺ, the beautiful book of Zayd al-Ma'ad, or the summary of the seal nectar, Al-Rahiq al-Maktoum. Read the beautiful book Al-Shama'il al-Muhammadiyya by Imam al-Tirmidhi. May Allah have mercy on him. And al shamail al-Muhammadiyya is a book which will describe the Prophet ﷺ and his, phys his physical and moral traits as you could see him, as if you could see him and visualize him. The more you read about that, the more you imagine him, the greater the possibility to see him in a dream. And by the end, this is risk. It's a provision that Allah gives to whomever he wins. Because in the sound hadith, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, whoever sees me in, in a dream have actually seen me because Satan cannot appear in my figure. Yes, Satan can appear in whatever figure and say, I am the Prophet, but not the actual figure of the Prophet Am I confusing you? No. Why? Listen to this. Al-Hasan al-Basri, the great faqih of Iraq and who's also uh, a great interpreter of dreams. People would come to him and say, I've seen the Prophet ﷺ in my dream. Before asking about what did he tell you, what was it all about, he will ask him, Sifu li, describe him. Describe what you've seen in your dream. So when the person describes the actual physical traits of the Prophet ﷺ, he says, yeah, you have seen him. That was him. But if you're talking about, you know, I saw like the moon and somebody was talking to me, you haven't seen the Prophet. You may heard a voice, you may have heard a voice or you have seen, uh, you know, somebody else, but the features are not the features of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So when you see the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he talks to you and he says, I am Muhammad, peace be upon him, you're very lucky. Just simply open the book of the prophetic traits, Al-Shama'il al-Muhammadiyyah, wa al-Imam al-Tirmidhi, and read, how did he look like? His hair, his forehead, his eyes, his shoulders, how he walked, how he talked, and you can say, yeah, that was him. And again, and you can try, and let me know by the feedback, inshallah, if, you, if, if it works with you. Start reading about the prophetic traits, especially before going to sleep, and Insha'Allah, 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 hopefully you will get to see Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in your dream.